Mr. President, I actually come to the Senate floor today to talk about the urgent need to help make college more affordable for American families. You know, earlier this year, I launched a comment form on my website encouraging people to share their struggles to afford college and how their student debt is affecting them. Since then, I have heard from so many students and families from my home state of Washington and across the country. By sharing these stories today, I hope we can all come together here to work on ways to bring down college costs and make sure that students can graduate college without the crushing burden of student debt. I recently heard from a young woman whose name's Katie. She's a junior studying psychology at Gonzaga University in Spokane, Washington. Katie said she always knew that attending college was going to be financially difficult, although it never occurred to her to let that stand in her way, be because her parents were not in a position to help uh, her out financially, and because she couldn't afford to make regular tuition payments, she's had to take on a large amount of student loans. And she wasn't able to live with her parents, so she's also had to plan to pay for room and board for all four years. Now, here is a typical work week for Katie. Katie works 12 hours a week as part of the Gonzaga Student Body Association. At least two nights a week, and usually on weekends, she makes hundreds of calls on behalf of the Gonzaga Telefund. On most weekend nights, she's not out with her friends or family. She is instead babysitting for some extra cash to put towards her textbooks. And on top of all that, she is also a math tutor, which until recently was a paid position before the department's budget was cut, but she said she kept tutoring anyway as a way to give back. That's just who she is. Now that's all on being a full-time student as well. So let me be clear, Katie is very glad to be investing in herself and her future. She knows it is tough work and she appreciates that. But she, like millions of other students, is just looking for a little relief. In her own words, she admits, and I quote, it's a constant stressor thinking of how to pay for life while at college and how I'm going to pay for all of this after I graduate. Well, students like Katie aren't alone. Across the country, the yearly cost of tuition, room and board at a public four-year institution is five and a half times what it was in the early 80s. And, the, and to afford those skyrocketing price tags, people are turning to student loans to cover the cost. So today, Americans across the country hold a total of $1.3 trillion in outstanding student loan debt. In my home state of Washington, the average college student owes more than $24,000 in student debt. Think about what that debt means for our students. These students are doing everything right. They are investing in their future. Many of them are the first in their families to go to college. But when it's time to look for that first job, just starting out, they are already in the red. I've been so glad to work with other Senate Democrats on legislation actually called in the red that would help students like Katie. Our bill would give students the chance to attend community college tuition free. It would make sure the amount of Pell Grants keeps up with the rising costs of college. And it would let borrowers refinance their student debt to today's lower rates. And our bill is fully paid for by closing corporate tax loopholes that only serve to benefit the biggest corporations and the wealthiest few. You know, th this issue for me is really personal. When I was young, my dad was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Uh, within a few short years, he couldn't work any longer. And without warning, my family had fallen on hard times. I have six brothers and sisters. And thankfully, all of us were able to go to college with help from what is now called Pell Grants. My mom was able to get the skills she needed to get a job. She'd been a stay-at-home mom. She needed to work. Uh, and she got that job through a worker training program at Lake Washington Vocational School with government help. And even through those hard times, our family never lost hope that with a good education, we would be able to find our footing and earn our way to a stable middle-class life. This country never turned their back on my family. 
And today, we can't turn our backs on the millions of families just like mine who need a path forward to afford college and pay back their student debt. I hope we can pass this bill and pave the way for lower college costs and less student debt. I hope we can work together to give students and families some much needed relief. And let's make sure they know we won't ever let up and that we will always have their backs.